Hi, my name is Boris and in today's video we're going to be making the bass sound from this classic house track. We will use analog as well as some stock effects and we will write the MIDI from scratch. The template you've just heard is called Pianista and it's part of our classic house production pack which also includes a lot of useful samples for classic house. And also we have a brand new free sample pack for you guys, royalty free female vocals. Make sure to grab it, it's also really really useful for the genre. All of the links to the packs will be available in the description. Before we get into the video, if you like what we are doing on this channel, consider subscribing. We've got a lot more content about house coming up. All right, let's get started. So the bass we're going to be making today is very full sounding. It, it's powerful, but doesn't take up too much space in the mix. So let's solo it. I'm going to disable this track and make a new MIDI track and let's just drop analog here. Okay, so let's turn off the second oscillator. We just have this first oscillator going through the first filter to the first amplifier and let's play C3. So we have a square wave here. Right now it's at 50% pulse width and we want to increase that around 85%. And now let's go two octaves down to minus one and also two octaves down on our keyboard playing C1. And let's go down with the filter frequency to around 180. We can increase the filter envelope with the sustain all the way down and the decay of around 1.30. And let's increase the amplifier level So now we have a good level. And as for the ADSR of the amp, we can increase slightly the release to around 75 milliseconds. Okay, so we can enable the second oscillator now, and it also can go through the first filter and the first amplifier. We can stay with the saw wave over here, but let's just decrease the level to minus 8.5. And now before we add some audio effects here, we can actually write a MIDI pattern. So I'm adding a new MIDI clip, by the way, selecting and pressing Command M and pressing Command Shift M or Control Shift M on Windows. And starting from E1, we'll begin writing our pattern. Okay, so let's start from a quarter note here and let's add a 16th note as well over here. Maybe let's make it shorter. By the way, we are staying in the E minor scale, so you can choose that over here and press the scale button and that can make our work a bit easier. And we can copy this note over here and put it two steps up to G. We can copy this note once again and this time go one step down. Maybe quantize this note for a full 16th note and we can duplicate this entire pattern. Maybe these notes can be slightly longer and maybe we can play that with the kick drum to make sure that our timing is correct. So we can actually duplicate this over the entire clip and we can make it shorter like this. Now let's add some audio effects to make it really punchy. First of all, let's add auto filter, and that's one of my favorite effects. You can basically create really great low pass curves here and driving the signal to achieve a lot of warmth. All you need is to select the OSR mode, for example, and increase the drive here. So we're staying around 500 hertz here. We can actually also throw in a limiter to do some hard compression and let's decrease the ceiling until we can hear it working. Okay, so that's some heavy limiting and we can also sidechain this to the kick. So let's search for compressor, go to sidechain and choose our sidechain track. Let's stay with the ratio of 4 to 1, but we can increase the attack a little bit. To me this sounds already pretty good and we can compare this to the original bass.
as you can see, we have a pedal going on here. And this is actually just 4% of dry wet, so this is not doing much. And we have some EQing to mix it better with the kick and all the other elements, just cutting some of the very low end. And also we have a multi-band compressor here and also hard limiting. We have some saturation and tube distortion uh, as well as our sidechain compressor. But this doesn't change too much from our signal chain. We are driving our signal with the auto filter. Let's maybe hear this in context. And you can also always mess around with the auto filter here, but to me it sounds really good. All right, that would be it for this bass patch. Thank you guys very much for watching today's tutorial to the end. Consider checking out our Music Production Academy. I've got a lot of start to finish tutorials for both beginners and more advanced producers. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like and write us a comment, and I will see you in the next tutorials. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, check out our website packed with online courses and professional sound packs. If you want to cut years of your learning curve, check the PML Beginner to Advanced Music Production program for Ableton Live. You will know Ableton inside out and learn how to write, produce, mix and master complete tracks. You learn step by step at your own speed from an empty file to professional production, as if we're sitting side by side in the studio. Thank you for listening. And now let's get back to your tutorial.